So I already have an Angular application up and running here. Uh, it's a bare-bone uh, Angular application which has it already has uh, Angular material installed and uh, Bootstrap installed. So I won't be going into the details of how to install Material and Bootstrap into your Angular project. You can refer uh, one of my. Uh, we'll start by importing uh, a Mat Dialog module in your Angular project. So you, all you need to do is you go to your. Uh, you just need to go to your app.module.ts file and import Mad Dialog module there uh, from Angular Material slash Dialog. Okay, so once you have the Mad Dialog module installed, or like imported, uh, once you have the Mad Dialog module imported, just add it to the import survey here. Now you are good to use uh, Mad Dialog module here. So in order to use the uh, Dialog module, we'll be showing uh, we'll be showing one component, like we'll be showing some data inside the pop-up. So for that thing, we'll create a, create a new uh, Angular component. Um, let's name the component like uh, ng g component uh, pop-up. That will create a new component uh, which will be called maybe a uh, pop up component as you can see here pop up. So, uh, this component will be shown inside the pop up or inside the model dialog. So, we just add uh, some fancy text for the time being. Let's say h2 welcome, maybe a button also. Okay. So once you have this uh, pop component in place, uh, we'll go to the app comp. You go to our main component, and uh, we'll create a reference to the dialog. Start by importing Mad Dialog inside your app component. Uh, once you have uh, Mad Dialog here, you can you need to create an instance of uh, Mad Dialog here. Create a private instance of my dialog. Private uh, dialog reference my dialog. Okay, so once you have it, define a function. So we can create a private function called to like uh, open dialog. Inside this, uh, we can use the dialog reference to open the component. So our component name is pop-up component. Let's add it here. Okay, I'll just save it and uh, call this open dialog thing inside the App, but so inside the app component, just let's add one button. Uh, click to open pop up. Okay, and on click of this thing, let's add that method. Okay. Now save it and start the Angular application. Open, open the application. You will be able to see the button. Just click on the button, and you should see the pop-up component inside a Mad Dialog. So this is how you use Mad Dialog inside uh, your Angular application. Now, let's see uh, a bit more complex cases where you need to pass data to your Mad Dialog. For passing the data, you'll be you'll, you'll require something called Mad Dialog Data. So what I'll do is I'll go to um, the pop-up here and create an instance of uh, inject Mad Dialog Data and define something a variable called a data variable. So now uh, when we will be able to pass data using Mad Dialog Data, so now what you can do is you can pass the data uh, from a main component to this component. Uh, for that I'll just go to the app component here. 
and here we can pass the data the second parameter define something called data and add an object here let's say name uh, Samuel okay and go to your component here and define something called uh, first name and inside the constructor we can define something called we can set the first name as uh, data dot what are we passing from here data dot uh, name so it will be data dot name okay and we can display it here maybe um, first name uh, and also just let's add some class to this thing btn and btn primary should be good similarly let's add a class here also just to make it look a bit better we are using okay now save it all reload the application click to open the pop-up and as you can see it's a welcome sample so now you know how to pass data from your parent component to the model dialog pop-up so I hope you find this video useful do let me know uh, your thoughts or like uh, any comments or like anything related to this video or any feature requests or like video requests or anything uh, in the in the video comments uh, thanks for watching